Well, that's kind of disappointing, but um, I've always wanted to try a propane powered Nerf gun, so let's make that happen. Check it out, Sam. Look at this thing. It's propane powered. It All right, looks so stupid. Hey, it is a pain to work with this. I was doing so much experimentation with this. We'll explain about that in a second. But check this out. This is how it works. So what we have here is our shutoff valve, our propane tank, our Nerf gun, some copper, and some other garbage. So you open this little valve up, just enough just for the um, venturi effect to take effect so you drop the um, oxygen in and the propane. So then we open up this gas valve to pass through the propane fuel air mixture into our combustion chamber there's no magazine in it right now but um you take a magazine stick a nerf dart in it close that before you chamber around you gotta shut this off chamber around and oh that's really cool yeah see look this one's busted open they they don't really hold too well to the pressure want to try it's cool. yeah Give me the camera. Pew, 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 pew. Don't, don't ignite the torch. If you, if you ignite it accidentally, use a shutoff valve to close, close the fuel flow. You, you need this. The camera is open. All right. Uh, tech, reload. Ah, you did the wrong, wrong thing. It's a special procedure to operate this firearm. <laughs> this propane thing. You opened it too much. Now there's two. You're bad at this. Not for children. Now there's three. Shut this off. Close the bolt. I can't. You put too many in there. Now fuck it. There you go. Ding. Defend your sale. Check it out. Whoa. Do you like the blood ah. break? Wait, did you actually get shot? No, I didn't. Oh, you loser. In this box, you will find things that we need to destroy with nerf darts. What are you gonna do with this? That is an egg. That is a banana. That's some shaving cream. Oh, you know what I forgot? I got the stupid 360 break thing. Oh. Uh, I think the Colonel Gaps are home too, so we'll have to do that later. But uh, let's do a quick. Oh wait, uh, before we do this, let's look at the ammo types. So I also printed these out while you weren't looking. So I made these little um, tailed rounds, I don't know what you'd call that. 
Then I have the ones with fins on them. And we also have the modified nerf darts with the screws in the front of them. So we'll probably use it to break all the stuff we're gonna break. Ready? Dang, that's pretty violent. It did break this bottle that was pretty broken because you dropped it. Okay, uh, we should actually try breaking some legit glass now. Let's try this. I don't know if we'll get through this. This is pretty thick. Okay, so I, we're gonna try this on this now. You say it won't break, right? Yeah, it won't break it. Really? Hmm. Dang, let's hope it is powerful enough to. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know what this is, but it left it, it, it made a hole here. Oh, it actually did go through. Okay, it punched out the center here, cracked this, but it didn't quite do enough damage. Oh, there, there it is. Now you who. Okay, let's finish this off. Grand finale, some Barbasol shaving cream. Okay, let's load it up in here. We're gonna use this to punch a hole in that. Yeah, this one has to be rammed into the barrel. It's too long to fit in the magazine well. That's not too bad. Um, so this bleeding out, I guess let's go back to shop because we still need to chronograph this because I want to see exactly how much of an improvement our Nerf Dart velocity is over the stock pneumatic system thing. Okay, so that's pretty fun. So, I mean, I guess it does work like, watch, we'll go through the six round magazine with maybe some slight issues, but for the most part, yeah, you just stick the magazine in there, close the bolt, close that, and shoot that. That was a little bit not that much pressure in that one, it didn't wait that long. Open the gas, close it, close the bolt, that was better. Open the bolt, open the gas, wait a moment, close the bolt, close the gas, shoot that one, that was okay. Open the gas, open the bolt, wait a second, and close the chamber. Close the gas, shoot that one. You know, I think I have too much gas in that. You did that one out of order. Whatever, I can't, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so that's open. Let it gas for a few seconds. Close the gas, close the chamber, bang. Okay, open the chamber, open the gas. Wait a second. Close the gas, close the bolt, fire. And we're out of ammo. Okay, so we have a normal Nerf um, pistol thing. I don't, I don't know. I did shoot this. I think this actually performs just as well as this. This just has a ton of plastic on it because it's a Nerf gun. I'm actually really disappointed with this. And I, I don't think a lot of people like the Raptor Strike anyway. So here's this. Let's see what this does. It won't even read. I've never seen that error before. This car graph sucks. It won't read these little Nerf darts. But let's just try this one anyways. I'm pretty sure it'll work better with the higher speed stuff. It just keeps giving me these errors. If anyone has this thing and knows why it does that, let me know, but I can't figure it out. Did you read the manual? Oh, that works. 219. So I guess this thing is just too slow that it can't even get readings on the normal FPS of these things. Now it's slower, 166. 198. 220. That's pretty fast. Okay, so it kind of hits somewhere around the upper 170, 220 is the highest it's ever been. Or 219, 220, so those are pretty accurate. At least you can do the gas cycling just right. So that's pretty fast. Uh, overall, I guess that kind of wraps this thing up. Oh, uh, we should talk about the dilemmas and stuff. Um, let's do that. Okay, so in the beginning when I was doing this, I kind of glanced over this because I was just kind of um, trying to do this as quick as possible. But I made a, uh, another chamber showing this. My original intent was to use a spark plug to, to ignite it, but the spark plug really sucks, like I'll show you. Like if you gas this thing up and you hit it from here, it's really freaking loud. You hear that? I, it probably doesn't pick up very well in the mic, but your ears will ring from this thing. It's really loud. And then if you do it from here, it's just a little puff. Like, it's, it's not impressive. I think what it has to do is the spark gap is so small in this 
the ignition is not as great as the giant um, volume of already combusting gas in your so when it hitches it reaches the um, chamber, it just detonates and goes off at once, like that. So what I ended up doing is putting the spark gap in the center, and I made a really big spark gap. And I also got this taser part. Uh, yeah, this is fun. But the spark gap is much larger, so I get a more even ignition of uh, the fuel in the chamber. Another thing interesting too was um, I had to add the shutoff valve back here. I think it has to do something with the combustion in the chamber bleeding out through the uh, venturi effect pickup line because uh, when it blows up, it blows all the compression out. But also when you do that, there's a little pressure in here and all the air has to come rushing back in to equalize the space. So one thing I've noticed is I'd fire darts out that are shoved back here. They would come out a little bit and then get sucked back in and stop. It was really kind of weird seeing that. But if you put them out front, they would just fire off really fast. Like, watch, we'll do it. See, that worked pretty good. Watch, I'm going to do this and it's not going to work again. Yeah. You see, it would do that sometimes. So the darts just don't come out. I don't know. Uh, but that's why I put the shutoff valve there so I could build more compression in the chamber to blow the darts out. But speaking of troubleshooting, I really like to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a problem solving website with tons of courses on science and math. For me, troubleshooting and problem solving is a daily occurrence. Throughout the life of this project, I was constantly facing problems and had to research around and troubleshoot combustion in the chamber and also fixing some of the spark condition problems that you saw. Being a lifelong tinkerer, I have developed these important skills over time, which greatly increases the success rate of these projects. Uh, for those of you who want to develop your own skills, Brilliant is a great way to do so. They are a problem solving website that helps you understand concepts by working your way through problems and increasing difficulty, while also showing you solutions to problems you may get wrong. Personally, I'm always learning from various sources, and my favorite section from Brilliant is the physics of the everyday. Not only are the problems clearly worded and interactive, I gain knowledge and understanding that ultimately affects my next projects. If you want to sharpen your problem solving skills and troubleshooting abilities, go to brilliant.org slash peterstreeple and sign up for free. And also, the first 77 people that go to the link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the Nerf gun video. Uh, we're probably doing another one real soon, probably with hydrogen this time. But uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, be sure to check out Brilliant too, and I will see you guys in the next video.